sometimes when you look at the problems of Pakistan, it just feels overwhelming. You feel like you're you're drowning and you can't breathe. But at the same time, we need to be taking actions that explicitly challenge that status quo. Hi, I'm Asad Yaqut, and here's a sneak preview of what's coming your way on Unpacking Us, a new podcast where we unpack the deepest questions facing Pakistani society, politics, and the economy. Can you tell me more about what we mean by speculation and how it's affecting the housing market? Land and the way that land is conceptualized has transformed over a period of time, right? That's the underlying deeper problem we should be solving. The government in some ways set itself up for failure. I'm not absolving the government of its responsibility by any means. How much of that is actually translated to something on the ground? So Pakistan has a really low female labor force participation rate. Fundamentally, what we need to think about in Pakistan is not increase production, but increase productivity. The status quo is so unequal. There is a radically different way of looking at the world. I've actually said this recently to a bunch of politicians and they were shocked to hear this. And if we think about it, this corresponds to the to the deep ways in which men and women's lives look very different. There are more remittances coming in after 9-11. At the macroeconomic level, what's the role of optimism? When you're facing tough situations, you try and find beauty in everything you see. Subscribe now to make sure you don't miss any episodes. Please check out our website at unpackingus.com. Think of all of our dreams. They're beautiful.